Hello there, Dan. You asked if 3D printing will provide North Korea military parity with the U.S. I'm going to attempt to answer that. Um, I'm going to be reading from prepared statements because I suck at memorizing and I don't feel like editing out all the rambling that I would otherwise do. Okay, so let's assume that 3D printers have gotten to the point where you can make any object so long as you have the plans and materials necessary to make the object. Now, the biggest advantage that 3D printing can provide would be to have decentralized weapons manufacturing. If weapons are made in a thousand different locations spread across the country, you have to essentially go from house to house to ensure that uh, you eliminate their weapons manufacturing capability. Now, this certainly is an advantage, but it brings about its own problems. The first would be infrastructure. Okay, sure, you have people you know, making weapons, but how do you get those weapons into the hands of the military? Well, obviously, you would have somebody go around and pick up the weapons, but that simply changes the targets from uh, centralized manufacturing plants to roads and bridges and, and electrical facilities and things like that. Second would be quality control. How do you ensure that the gun made by a starving farmer is actually going to function in combat? Now, theoretically, having everybody print out the same thing using the same plans would yield the same product, but that ignores a couple of variables. Is the person taking good care of their printer? Are they uh, following all the cleaning procedures when switching from making plastic parts to metal ones? Did they even assemble the weapon properly or even make all the necessary parts? Decentralized weapons manufacturing uh, would require enormous oversight to ensure that you had proper quality control. Now the third would be complex weapons. Sure, you can print out parts for a gun and assemble it yourself, but what about airplanes or tanks or things like that? Since these are so complex, it's highly unlikely that any one person will be able to make them efficiently. Now, a solution to this would be to have uh, many people in one region uh, making individual parts and then shipping them to one assembly area. But that simply makes that assembly area a prime target for a military strike, as well as all the infrastructure leading up into it. Now, the most efficient way to use 3D printers would be to essentially keep the same manufacturing strategy that you currently have with centralized locations and things like that and simply switch out whatever machines they currently use to make weapons for 3D printers. Now this certainly would increase efficiency, speed, and probably lower cost, but it wouldn't really revolutionize weapons manufacturing. Now what about materials? If some high-tech weapon requires high-tech materials and North Korea can't make or buy those materials, it isn't really going to matter how many 3D printers they have, they're not going to be able to make that weapon. Now I should also note that this is a problem that exists regardless of whether or not North Korea uses 3D printers. Okay, so finally, population size, and this one I think is the real killer. At 25 million people, North Korea has a population about 1 12th the size of us. Now if they had 100% of their population serving in that military, we would only need about 8 or 9% of our population to have an equal number of combatants. Now it's possible you could have an entire nation's uh, population serving in the military, but you can't really sustain that level of military uh, participation. You have to have people growing food, making weapons, caring for the sick, etc. Now currently North Korea has about 38% of its population in the military, but that's mostly re uh, reservists. Their active military is about 4.5%, which is granted a whole lot more than our three quarters of 1%, but due to population size, their actual military is about 25% the size of our own. No matter how you slice it, the size of our country will always trump North Korea's military potential. 3D printing will not revolutionize North Korea's military, nor will it grant uh, North Korea military parity with the U.S. 